Today I will show you how to integrate the replicated hitbox system into your project. First of all, create a blueprint project with the third person template. You can follow along in either UE4 or UE5, it makes no difference. Before adding the plugin to your project, let's set up collisions. First thing you want to do is click on edit, then project settings. Click on collision settings on the left. You'll want to first create an object channel called projectile with response set to ignore. Click on accept. Now create a trace channel called hitbox with the response also set to ignore. Next, create a new preset profile called projectile, with the collision enabled set to query only and object type to projectile. Make sure this profile blocks world static, world dynamic and pawn while ignoring everything else then click on accept. If you want your projectiles and hitboxes to interact with static meshes or landscapes, then click on the block all profile and make sure it blocks hitbox and projectile. For our demonstration however, we'll leave it as is for the hitbox channel. Now install the replicated hitbox system plugin and add it to your project. Click on edit, then plugins. Search for replicated hitbox system. Then click on enable. You will need to restart the editor. You can also access the documentation from here by clicking on the documentation button. Now click on view options in UE4, or settings in UE5, inside your content browser. Then enable both show engine content and show plugin content. Expand the engine folder then plugin. Now scroll down until you find the raw devs RHS. This is the folder of the plugin. Keep in mind that in order to modify any blueprint, you will need to modify either a copy or a child version. Otherwise all your modifications will be overwritten when you update the plugin. You can also use a copy of the entire plugin, at the risk of needing to merge it with the future updates manually on your own. If you want to go down this road, go to your Unreal installation directory. Click on Engine, Plugin, then Marketplace. Find Aurora Devs RHS and copy the entire folder. Now go back to your project and create a folder called Plugins. Inside of which you will paste the RHS folder. Make sure to restart your editor, and enable show plugin content. Next, let's set up the plugin classes. This shouldn't take long. Go under Aurora Devs RHS, Blueprints then Characters and select BP underscore third person character. Click on Class Settings and make sure the character class implements the BPI underscore hitbox interface, which is used for decreasing health on damage events. Now click on the Capsule component. Under the Details panel, scroll down to the Collision category and make sure that both Simulation Generates Hit Events, and Generate Overlap Events are set to True. Also make sure that the Collision Responses for both Hitbox and Projectile are set to Block. Now for Application to work, select your Mesh in the Components panel then scroll down until the Optimization category in the Details panel. Make sure visibility based anime, tick option is set to always tick pose and refresh bones. Compile save then exit. Next, make sure that, inside your animation blueprint, you have a default slot in order for montages to work for your character. Now under Aurora Devs RHS, Blueprints, Actors, then Projectiles, open BP RHS Projectile Base. Under the Variables category, Collision, select Collision Channel, and set its default value to Projectile. Compile Save then Exit. Under the Demo folder, open the Demo level, then press Play. 
To perform abilities and actions, press the left mouse button. To cycle through abilities, use your mouse wheel. You can also interact with the showcases, by walking up to them, and pressing E. The demo map contains an interactable showcase for all the implemented features. You should now be all set. Enjoy. If you have any questions, you can either email us at support, at auroradevs.eu, or you can join the Discord server where you can become a verified customer, by leaving a review containing your Discord tag on the product page, in order to gain access to product specific support, you will find all the links in the description below. Thank you once again. And until next time.